Okay, this video is a little serious and I'll narrow it down. It's not a rant, but it's ba it's really, really for you people who feel the need to shout down or censor, shut down, whatever. Any discussion on an organization that you are involved with, connected to your ideology, your belief system. Um, this is from an online um, discussion I was having with a group of people. And um, somehow we got into uh, uh, first in lineage and so on of um, tribes of people in the Amazons and the Native Americans, North America and so on. And it went on and connected, it spread and into, like even including some, um, someone made a joke about something which connected to jokes about the Virgin Mary and stuff which expanded out to other stuff. And, um, it, nobody was actually ridiculing every Catholic, but we had a couple Catholics there who very quickly spoke up, um, upset that every Catholic was being labelled as a sexual as a sex offender, which wasn't true. Um, the discussion was more about the institution. And the uh, the institution of the Roman Catholic Church, who to this day continues to cover up for child abusing clergy, where even today's Pope, who's said to be enlightened, is um, um, questioning the homosexuals and so on, and um, sometimes giving them an unfair go, and. Um, and has decided to not hand a single child abusing member of his church's clergy to any of the authorities. He's just going to pray. Pray away their sins and he'll forgive them for Jesus, on behalf of Jesus, because you know the Pope is the only one who talks to Jesus and etc etc. Uh, now I think that when an organization, regardless of which organization it is, whether it's religious, a community group, like a football club or a variety club of some kind, fundraising club, whatever, if there is a serious issue that's, especially if it's criminal, it needs to be discussed. When it's a major issue, such as child abuse amongst religious organizations, Whichever one it is, whether it's Catholic, Anglican, any one of the Islamic groups, Buddhism, Taoism, Jehovah Witnesses, the Hare Krishnas. I remember some years ago there was a story about Hare Krishna schools having a child abuse issue. Football clubs, Boy Scouts, etc. They've all had child abuse issues. These organisations, you know, when we've talked about, say, uh, child abuse amongst teachers, child abusing, abusing children in their care. When we talk, when there's an issue of, say, Boy Scouts, as, and as one example, um, with children in their care being abused, it was never shouted down. But when it comes to religion, it's shouted down. And I'm going to pick on the Christians institutions um, not just the Catholics because like you know in Melbourne for example for years there have been uh, women's groups trying to get the governments to look at the problem of um, child brides happening in Australia and our politicians were too cowardly to, uh, to do anything but now that it's particularly advantageous to scare people about every Muslim, politicians are 
doing something. All he's talking as if they're doing something, which is a shame. You talk uh, the politics of hate to get them to maybe do the right thing. But when it comes to, say, you know, oh, George Pell, Cardinal George Pell, Australia's Catholic, highest Catholic, who's based in the Vatican, you know, he's wanted for questioning by some inquiry. That was, is it the Royal Commission or some other one? Um, maybe it's because under pressure he admitted to fabricating evidence to protect a pedophile priest. Finally. Finally. And now he's back in the Vatican with health issues, unable to come back to Australia. Yeah, that may be true. He may have a heart issue. He may have. And if he does, I wish him better. I don't wish him a heart attack or to struggle. I wish him better. Because I want him flown back to Australia to be greeted by the police and given a, an escort with pretty cuffs for a trial if they have the evidence on him for doing it. These things need to be talked about. If your organisation, such as in this case the Catholics, you know, we're not saying every Catholic has a thing for touching up children. We're saying that there is a big issue with your institution covering up. If they're not doing it themselves, they're hiding someone who's doing it. Not in every case, like uh, Father Bob in Melbourne. Yeah, he's pretty contemptuous. I like Father Bob. He's uh, pretty open that if you come to him as a priest, he's going to dob you in. He's going to hand you over to the police. So they're not going to go to Father Bob, are they? Anyway, see, I like Father Bob because he talks about it. He talks about the problems the Catholic Church has. His organisation. And nothing gets fixed if you don't talk about it. If you have depression, you know, you get nowhere if you don't find someone who you can talk to about it to work out your issues. The Catholics need to do this. They need to talk publicly. They need to have some private chats. They need to have public chats because it's the only way they drag them out to force the church, to force our politicians to remove every legal exemption they have from the law that they hide behind. But these things need to be talked about. They need to be spoken of. Because if we don't, nothing will get done. You may be appalled, upset, you may feel disgusted with your institution's behaviour. But if you are going to deliberately move to shut down every mature discussion, I'm not talking about the bashings, I'm talking about mature discussions. If you move to shut them down by calling it hate and bashings and so on, then you're part of the problem. You're covering it up. You're not allowing healing to happen. There are a lot of people, not just rape and different forms of abuse with these religious institutions and in this case the Catholics but you know not just the Catholics do it you know it's widespread amongst organizations and when you got organizations with an incredible amount of exemptions from the law which nobody else has they grow corrupt they're exempted from laws uh, discrimination laws. They're exempted from handing over pedophiles. They're exempted from paying their taxes. But they receive a lot of money in taxes. And they receive an easy walk into our, the offices of our prime, prime ministers and premiers and so on. That's a lot of corruption. And when you seek to shut down discussion like this you're part of the corruption and you're denying victims of abuse their ability to heal to to have these things torn apart I know it hurts to have your institution you feel so close to opened up 
But you're not the one who's been abused. You're not the one that's been emotionally scarred. You're not the one, if you have been, been raped or had the crap beaten out of you. You know, abuse just isn't getting hit, made use of slave labour or being raped. The abuse is also, and the Catholics are good for it particularly, is um, shaming, making people feel guilty for things that they shouldn't have, just so they can control you. And any sort of question is your guilt, when really it's just another corruption to control you. So no way, I feel sorry for you. I had 11 years of Catholic school and I was in grade two and I realised what they were doing. I was lucky. I was lucky. I realised what they were doing and I went, la, 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 la. I'm not listening to them. They're full of shit. If you are going to continue to shut down discussion on such important things, I'm not talking about the childish discussions and carrying on. I'm talking about real discussions where people want to talk about it, generally want to talk about it like adults. You know what you are when you move to have it shut down? You're a bully. You're like uh, the person who, when, when the victim tries to talk up, you're, you're the one that yells at them. You're the one that ridicules them. You're the one that scares them and puts them back into their box. You're the one that further punishes them. You're the oppressor. Another point of view maybe is, you know, you may not be their friends, but they might be on your team, whatever team it is, anything, make it up. Dinosaur team, I don't care. You might see them picking on someone and beating the stuffing out of them, but you either stand there and cheer, you stand, or you stand there quietly and do nothing, or you stand there getting other people to look the other way, or to say nothing, which is probably more, really more what you are. It may hurt you to talk about these things. What's your vile filthy, corrupt organisation does on a day-to-day -day basis and right through to now. But you're not the one who was violated. You're not the one whose life was destroyed. You're not the one who thinks of suicide or attempts suicide or is successful with suicide. You're not the one that spends their whole life suffering Illnesses, whether it be depression or borderline per personalities and self-harming and so on. But when you shut down, you're oppressing those people. You're stopping them from being able to, to get any sort of closure. And if you've seen people suffer with the after effects of abuse, you really don't. You don't want these things. This is why I push it. This is why, you know, I guess I bait the way I do. Because I've seen the damage. You know, I'll admit I was emotionally damaged by the Catholic Church, but emotionally through the shit, but in a different way. I was able to cope with it better. Because I rebelled in my own way. As a uh, coping mechanism. Because if I didn't, to be honest... I don't think I would have made it to the end of high school. But I've seen people who struggle with depression and so on all their life because of some childhood abuse. And you're continuing moves to shut down any discussion on your vile, filthy, corrupt, inhumane, callous, brutal organisation, then you're part of the problem. You are. You're part of the problem.